Hey, it's Kevin's and Bits, and it's early in the morning, and um, I haven't talked about opiate tolerance in a while. Um, I haven't talked about a lot in a while. I was away for two months. I actually spent five grueling days by myself getting off 80% of the opiates. I just had to. I was becoming too much of a slave to it. It was just out of control. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. But I had to do it. And I have to tell you that prayer and God was definitely a part of how I got off of opiates. It's very, very hard. It's very, very hard. And I wouldn't recommend it to anybody to ever do it alone. Inform your doctor, get tips, again, read about it. Don't do it alone. Uh, I felt I had to. I felt I had to, and I did have someone come and check on me, but uh, the circumstances, for those of you who know, uh, weren't optimal at all. Um, nervous? Well, absolutely. Uh, for other reasons other than being on opiates, but uh, I'm happy to say that it was a blessing, and I, I really feel the freedom, and I'm closer than ever to getting off the opiates totally. Uh, I still believe that everybody should have Kratom. Again, I, I can't stress the fact that it is hard on the liver. It has been known to be hard on the liver, but it is fantastic. The taste, well, I'm just not going to talk about it. You'll just have to try it for yourself. It's, it's horrific. But if you ever run out of an opiate and you face a very bad withdrawal, which I do, I actually stop breathing. I, uh, it's, it's, uh, it could be a near-death experience for me to withdraw from opiates, which unfortunately, I'll tell you about another time, but I was hospitalized and I was not given the appropriate amount of medication and um, terrible, terrible. People just don't know enough about it. Uh, it was unbelievable. You know, deep breath, just uh, for those of you who have been uh, opiate tolerant or addicted to opiates, just don't do it. I was told to take deep breaths. Oh yeah, that's going to do it. That's why we're in a crisis in an epidemic, because deep breaths are going to do it. Anyways, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to inform you, and I'm here to, you know, find out more too from you. So if you want to email me, email me or let me know. Um, I love to have people come on and, and, and talk about it, because it's just, it's so horrendous. So I am back, and uh, I'm happy to say I'm off most of the opiates. But... There is a side effect that is, uh, well, it's not as bad as the actual withdrawal, but you don't sleep. I mean, I think I have slept like three hours in five days. You just can't sleep. So if you can, tell your doctor and ask for a sleeping agent. I know I, I would have been much better off having a sleeping agent. In fact, I might do that today. I might get a sleeping agent because it's just, uh, I haven't slept in, 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 in days. But it seems not to be affecting me. But then again, you might think it is. It's early morning, and I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm back. Um, and uh, I am hopefully here to stay. So good luck with all of you who are on opiates and trying to get off. Good luck with those who might be commencing opiates because of operations or pain. And good luck with you who are trying to uh, figure out a way how to deal with a friend or a family member on opiates. Give us a bits. Best of luck to everybody. Opiate tolerance. We're in a crisis. Let's help each other. Take care.